the coronavirus is back in the news. I made a video about this already, and I said, where's Uber? Where's Lyft? Well, over the weekend, Uber and Lyft gave drivers some uh, a communication. In this video, I'm gonna share with you what that communication was, and at the end, end of the video, I'm gonna share with you whether I think it was enough, or is it a little too little, too late? Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. All right, all right. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the coronavirus and in particular Uber and Lyft's response, slow response to the coronavirus and its impact on drivers and passengers. So let's Number one, what's the current state of the coronavirus? It's bad. It's bad. So uh, what do we know? There have been 3,000 deaths so far in the world and it seems to be growing uh, every single day. We've also seen the stock market lose 12% of its value uh, during that same time. And just recently, we have seen six people in the United States and the state of Washington die um, of this. So it's hitting home. This thing's for real. It's in 47 countries right now. Number two, so what was Uber's response to all of this? Well, we got a little uh, app notification. And in the app notification, what you're seeing right here, if you feel sick, stay home, right? Wash your hands frequently. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces in your vehicle. And then they wrap it up with... Don't discriminate. You know, I, I looked at that and I thought, well, that's pretty obvious. Isn't that pretty obvious? Why did it take them two weeks, three weeks, since this thing really started to pick up steam to communicate with us, the drivers? Number three, what is Lyft's response? So what you're seeing here is Lyft's response. And Lyft said, uh, take care of yourself, keep your car clean, stay informed, you know, check out the CDC. So very, very comparable messages, very um, obvious messages. And uh, why, why did it take so long for them to kind of take a little bit of a leadership role? So number four, how are people responding to Uber and Lyft's notifications? Well, here's an article that says, Uber sent drivers guidance about coronavirus that some say ignores the realities of the gig economy. And as you go further into the article, uh, the rideshare dude uh, posts that, uh, you know, it's a little tone deaf. It says, if you feel sick, stay at home. Well, of course, we're not employees, Uber and Lyft, so if we stay home, we don't get paid. And uh, this is flying in the face of the whole, you know, uh, uh, controversy about whether we are employees or whether we are independent contractors. And we've got Uber saying, you know, if you feel sick, stay home. Again, pretty obvious uh, advice. And uh, if you've, you know, read any articles, you know, these are the kinds of things you should be um, doing. Uh, so what are my key takeaways? Look, if you're driving, um, you need to take care of yourself. Wash your hands. That seems to be the number one piece of advice. The masks really don't help. They're not really great for protecting you. Um, if you are sick, you shouldn't be driving. You should have a mask on so when you cough, you're not getting stuff on other, on other people. Um, this is just basic, basic stuff. If, if, you, if you're picking up someone who's Asian, that doesn't mean they have the coronavirus. You cannot discriminate. That's just ignorant and you don't wanna be an ignorant, uh, ugly human being uh, with that kind of behavior. So now Uber and Lyft have given us uh, their words of wisdom, and we're all like, eh, well, okay, okay, you know, at least they said something. But uh, like I said, it does seem like it's a little too little, too late. And as this thing picks up speed, we'll see uh, what else Uber and Lyft have to say um, over the coming weeks and months. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, by all means, uh, subscribe. This is Jay Crater saying thank you very much for watching the video. Go out and have a great day. Be safe. Wash your hands a lot throughout the day. When you wash them, take 20 seconds to wash them, and you be safe out there.